hey guys in this video we will learn about file handling how to handle a file in go language so file handling is a concept we have on almost all programming language file handling means to open a file close a file read a file and write a file or even we can find out the file and folder also means all the file related things we can handle it into file handling concept let's see in the program so over here we will get the input from the user input and we are using over here buffer input and output package that we will read from the input from the console and we will get the input over here okay so let's start the program a reader we required yes this is required this is the our package that we wanted to read the input and output from std in means console so let's add the packages so we are using two packages operating system console and new reader means read the input here we'll write down a message please enter a text to write into file so we want user will be give us to input okay whatever the text we will read it we will simply say whenever the new line will become whenever the terminate with the new line that text we want to read so the benefit of the new reader is we can read multiple lines we can use the same thing through the fmt also fmt we have fmt dot scan through the scan we can read and put the whatever the reader value in a variable but the problem is over here we can read only only particular variables kind of small kind of thing but here we can write down the very big big text over here so that is the benefit of the using the buffer input and output so whatever the input type we will get so we'll write down over here the chances of that whatever the input we are reading it it could be the problem we got an error here we this is the blank identifier here we can write down error but we need to use the error but if we write down the blank identifier we don't need to use it we can directly use the what the input we will get it so this is the input we are getting from the the console over here we need to write down the file name okay so where we wanted to generate some output so i'm just writing down output txt is the file there we want to generate some output over here okay after that we wanted to read the file okay to read and write the file i'm just making a separate function so over here functions write file yes this is the name and we wanted to okay suppose we wanted to generate an error over here also over here the file name and we should be give the what we wanted to be store so i just simply say content and content is the string so that we wanted to write into the file over here we need to be use the input and output input and output here over here we will use the operating system function operating system function is write file write file through which we can write down we need to give the file name first and we need to give the content right now this is our content and we need to give us to one more file mode file mode is allowed to us to permissions means the file we have we have multiple modes over here so we can give it 644 this is a means over here we are giving some permissions ki if the file does not exist it will open it it will create the file it will append the file such kind of extra permission we are giving it over here any uh, the go is actually supported like unix or uh, unix or linux actually there we have the three kind of permissions the one is the read another one is write another one execute the permissions so we have all has some value so these are the values so if we have four means we are giving the read permission two means write permission one means executable permission so over here so this is the three digit we need to give the permission so over here okay and that value is three digit octal number we need to give octal number over here suppose uh, i wanted to give it actually 644 so what it means by 644 means owner can read it read means actually it has a 2 plus 4 plus 2 so it has can be read it actually or what else exactly group can be read other can be read. means first is the owner second is the group means user can be have the multiple group and it, this is the other so these are the permissions so in the go documentation you guys can read it also further about it so this is the permissions over here similarly we have one more very famous one is 0755 this is also one more permissions means it has 4 2 plus 1 it has all the permissions and here we can give the other can, what other can do other can just read and execute they cannot be created they cannot be uh, they, they cannot be write it okay 
and another one is the uh, uh, we have the other and group a uh, group and other we are just wanted to give the just write okay just actually we wanted to give read or execute we don't want to give to write permission write permission only we want to give it to the owner only or here also in 644 also owner only okay so this like we can give is to some number so here we are giving 644 so we can give any other number but right now the combination of all these things but right now i'm just giving this one so once we'll write file write file function will be written the error over here we can receive the error in a variable and over here we can write down some conditions and what condition we should write down means if error is not null then we can write down some masses whatever the message we wanted to write down so suppose i can write down like if some error came then we can simply say return none means if some error came then we wanted to return this one if error won't came then i will just simply say nil return so this is the write file function before the write file also we can write down one more functions that function is func file exist suppose i wanted to check that this file exists or not on the basis of boolean value will identify and will write down some take some decision so file exist yes this is we need to write down operating system we have stat stat is the basically file name we will check and here if this is a function of the stat also these are the two functions stat means all the basically statical information about the file like what is the file name what creations time what has the role rights also all the information we can get it so it will return the two things for us the file info and that file info you will get it all the information who created who is the owner who modified what is the date and time of modifying all the informations error means error over here so here we are just simply checking if we file does not exist then we should get it exactly false if file exists then we'll get it true so this is the way we can handle the we can check the file actually exist or not exist similarly we have the one more functions we can create read file read file read file is just simply we need to give the file name over here and just file name in the string and whatever the content it will read it okay the file name functions the read file functions can return the content and error also means possibly that whatever the file name we given it that could be wrong also so this is the source code of it operating system will read the file if the file name exists then supposed to find we will get a content we will convert the content into string format okay because string that data is stored into byte format okay the data written is the byte so we need to convert it to string and if we data is correctly get it then we should be written the nil if we have some error we should be written the blank and we should return the error message to the receiver who are just calling the function we should be written like it so these are the three functions one is to write another one is to file exist or another one is to read the file how to call these functions we will call it over here so this is the input we wanted to write into file suppose over here um, we wanted to give the file name not even the write down what we wanted to write down even though we want to give us to keep just give us to file name also okay over here suppose before writing down the, in the content of the file we wanted to check this file is exist or not even the file name we wanted to take the user also file name input also we want to take from the user so we'll just simply say ffp dot print talent over here and say enter the file name. okay so over here so user will enter it we know actually reader wrote actually this is the way the user can enter it once the user enter we no, don't want to check the error so that we can make the black one okay whatever the it will input it we will receive the input into we'll just simply say file name equal to we are just trimming the white space also if we have some white space we can trim it also or what else we can do we can just simply say file name okay so over here to remove a white space we can just simply say trim it over here so string is a function that we can use and we can remove the remove space over here so whatever the input we will get we will get it over here and we'll receive it into this variable okay another thing is once we got a file name we simply check the if file exists what we need to write now if file name exists so this is already we made it over here this functions okay so if file name is exist over here so what we can write down if file name is exist then simply say we wanted to say file is already exist with the particular file name we will write down simple message over here this is a file name 
or we can just replace this one okay else part the file does not exist over here then we will simple say one more message over here okay next part so this is done we will read the file and we will just get it also now we need to be enter the text to the file so if we will we need to create a new file so definitely we need to write down some text inside it. here we are reading the text from the user input once we get a user input text over here suppose and uh, what okay we don't require the file name so i'm just removing it because file name also we are taking to the user as an input over here okay in this place we are taking the user input so we'll get the file name from on the top also over here okay this is our input we get it so over here we need to write down write file will return an error write file only return error so if could be possible if error we have it will return it so file name is whatever we get it input is whatever the user actually enter it over here we'll get the input from there okay and this is the we need to write down so reader is we are reading the read string and we'll read it also okay let's see why we are getting no left side of the compiler left input Okay, input already we take it so we'll just simply say input content so we'll simply say input content here okay here we need to write down message if error is not nil then we'll write down the message and we'll terminate this could be possible the file actually wherever the file we write it down that does not have role or write or it could be possible anything let's just simply write it down over here so over here file is created successfully with this file so means for write file means it can be created also if file does not exist then it will create it also if file is has been created we can say file is means if or file has been created or file has been updated whatever it is okay so if it is already there then it will update if it does not there then it will create it also over here so now the next last thing is we need to read the file to read the file we need to give the file name and it will give us to content so we need to handle the error handling also so over here we are just simply saying error reading the file if we have some error we are just showing this message if we got a content we are just directly displaying the content on the over here so just simply saying content over here so this is our program over here we are just checking three things checking the file checking this file file exists or not over here writing the file we are writing the file write input to the file last thing is reading the file okay read data from the file so this is the way we can handle the file handling this is the way we can read write or file that also there is a lot of other function also we have in os like open the file close the file or even we can handle the folder also okay operating system uh, we have the file handling and folder handling also but for basics need we require the file actually over here okay so this is the file handling program so we are writing down all the complete program in a single file till now okay so we need to divide the program into packages means in separate separate file also so these files should be communicated so next video we will learn about packages thanks guys thanks for watching the video see you in the next video thank you